What are you doing? Yeah. What up dudes, welcome back to the channel. So basically in this video, I'm just gonna be going over and discussing what happened with my 9812 valve. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know a little bit about what happened. But uh, anyway, let's get to it. All right, so long story short, basically, me and my brother were messing around in the truck. Um, we were doing a burnout and then I let go of the brake and we're just doing like a rolling burnout. And the RPMs were just, you know, whipping all over the place. Um, and it whipped down to 4,000 a few times. And uh, that's basically what was wrong with it. So when you go on super high RPM on these motors, uh, really all you need to worry about is your head. Um, so basically how it was able to go up so high RPM, if you don't really follow the channel, it's because of the governor springs. So the governor springs allow uh, the truck to not defuel at uh, 27, RPM about some people say 25 some people say 28 anyway you change out the governor springs in your P pump and that's what allows it to not defuel at the stock RPM I put three to four thousand governor springs in it so it will rev up all the way up to four thousand RPM uh, no problem the issue with that is you need 60 pound valve springs um, that's basically probably the most important thing you need um, it'd probably be a good idea to go with push rods and stuff but I don't have that much power right now, probably around 350 or something like that. But anyway, because of the RPM, all these are regular, they're, they're all fine. And then this boy, he crinkled. So a high RPM, the fan flexes, you know, it bends and it bent right into the radiator, uh, which, you know, caused it to gouge my radiator. and leave a frown on me and my brother's faces because you know, it's terrible. Anyway, that's what that. So, a new frown and a new radio. And then earlier that day, and actually during the burnout, well, I think it was mostly earlier that day. Earlier that day I was towing and I kind of smoked the clutch a little bit. Um, and then I think that burnout just totally gave it the rest. But, uh, so the stock clutch uh, holds about 350 horsepower, I think. And I think I'm like just barely under that, so I, I'm just right there. So it wouldn't be too expensive to just replace the OEM clutch, but I don't want to do that because it's just going to happen again. So I'm going to go with the 425 horsepower, 900 torque South Bend clutch. Uh, that should work really awesome. And then whenever, you know, whenever I actually have money for that. And then I need a fan. I'm going to get an aluminum radiator because they dissipate heat about 35% faster or something like that. I can get around to it. I'm going to get 60 pound valve springs and then that should get me going for a while. Um, I still need to advance the timing on this. I got everything I need. I just need to, you know, do it. But probably not gonna do that until it's running, so it's gonna be a little. That basically sums up with a truck. Um, I am wondering what a, cause before, you know, this happened with the truck, I was like so close. I'm, I'm still gonna do it. I'd like to do it when the truck is, <clears throat> uh, you know, running. But uh, I really wanted to do a hood exit on this, like a five inch hood exit. I really want to do that. But to do the hood exit, you kind of need to move your intake. And to move your intake, the intake kind of needs to come out like right here. So that's in the way because your battery's right here. And the hood exit is most likely just gonna come up and then out right here. Um, probably just gonna do all that tubing, like a three inch just for simplicity and then I don't know if I'll like gradually make it grow into a five inch or I don't know I'll figure that out when I get around to that but basically that's the plan for this once it's back up and running um but anyway why I brought up that is I am wondering what a cold start is like I haven't started this in weeks um I'm wondering what a cold start is like with just one battery um I live in Utah and I want to see that and then uh yeah let's do it That was not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be way worse than that. I am so doing my head thing. Like, that was the only thing I was gonna like. That was the only thing I was gonna maybe put it on a halt. But you know, that is, that's not even a problem. Like, that is fine.
by in the back. Hey, this gauge hasn't been working in a week or two. Like it's just now working. That's amazing. At least something's going right with this truck being dead. Also with this thing, um, working on getting a KDP kit for this. Uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna do on this. Um, I need to figure out, I mean, I need to figure out this issue. Um, so this pulley dealio and this thingy, it's like, it rubs into that, that bolt thing. And I don't know why. Um, I don't know if this is bent or this is bent or what's up with that. I'm not sure, I have no idea. If you know, leave a comment because it's kind of puzzling me. I don't know anything about it. I haven't heard anything from anyone else. Hopefully I can start ordering parts for this. Um, I was thinking about, I mean, I kind of want to leave this truck stock for a while. Um, just not do anything too funky to it. But I was deciphering on maybe doing something special with the exhaust in this fender. Um, this from the wreck, it has a little bit of a, a buckle right there uh it does on the inside as well and you remember that douchebag ripped off my antenna so i kind of want to maybe do like a side exit just the stock size of three inch just come out the side i was contemplating it but you know i'm not sure yet if you have a preference you should let me know because you know I, i'd like to do something fun with the exhaust on this one as well because you know we just gotta got freaking stock muffler and it's just ugh, it's pretty terrible but yeah oh my yeah this is gonna be the first one that we're getting ready i'm gonna get this one done before i do the 98 this one's super fun to drive this one is a dream this stick is just like so nice i love the truck but i'm gonna get this truck running first and then we'll do that one and then we'll go on get this one more set up 60 pound valve springs advance the timing and then i think we'll be set on this one for a while until uh the time comes that we get sick of the power and we want something more i'm sure that'll be pretty soon but uh the first priority i want to give well, my trucks paid off um i think i owe 8500 for both of them uh, right now. And I'd like to get those, get the trucks paid off before I start putting too much money into them. Uh, well, when I say to put too much money into them, I mean this one, because this is the more powerful one, the more, you know, not, not stock. This one I'm probably gonna keep stock. I just wanna do something fun with the exhaust uh, with that broken fender. I mean, I don't have to do it through the fender. I mean, I was also contemplating uh, a hood stack right here uh coming up right here um well not a hood stack a bed stack my bad or i don't know maybe actually, I, don't, I don't think a side exit would look too good right here i mean you got that one up there i, I don't think it's gonna make a difference so i think i like it right here um i'm probably definitely gonna do that if i don't do anything with a fender i'm definitely doing that um because exhausts are just fun. They're just, they give you so many smiles. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, so I have a little bit of news with the channel. So I've been super busy with work and all. I wasn't able to upload a video last week. Uh, that's just because by the time I get home, it's dark. I can't film in the dark and our shop, none of the bays are open. So they're all, they all got stuff on them. So, uh, so I can't film in there. So it's kind of hard to uh, find a time and place to film. Editing isn't really the problem because um, I'm home uh, on my evening. So I would have time to edit. I just don't have any time to film. And you know, I still have to wait for parts and stuff. So. I'm just gonna end the upload at Monday at 8 a.m. Uh, I can't really keep up with that. So hopefully, hopefully I still can, but for now, 
probably don't expect one because it's probably not going to be coming uh, maybe every other week. I'll try to do that. But yeah, uh, whenever I have more time that I can put into these trucks, I, I am going to be getting this 95 done pretty soon. I, I really want to do that. The 95 is my top priority. This one I can deal with later. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you want. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything. And uh, peace out. It was fun. Didn't really work very well, but it was enjoyable.